I don't think I'm selling chairs. I'm selling my way of thinking. I'm telling stories. Sometimes feel more related to that. And I think when you touch the emotional beat with your work, like people identify with that. It was inspired by my appreciation of classic furniture, particularly Victorian furniture that is from 1880s, 1860s, something like that. And this particular concept comes from a porter's chair. Uh, they used to be in their drawing rooms in Victorian times, and it's a massive chair with this kind of cocoon shape. Using that as inspiration, what I did is I stripped it from those very obvious Victorian values and took that concept into the mountains in Mexico, in Oaxaca, like take, take the piece completely out of context and reshape it through my experience as a Mexican in my own country with my own people and craft and raw material and it's in a way an exercise to invite people to go back to craft and the handmade. This is a collaboration with a Mexican artisan. I uh, was born in Oaxaca in San Jose del Pacifico. That is a place in the mountains, the highest point of uh, Sierra Madre. It's 3,000 meters above sea level, so it's really high. And this would not be possible without Gabriel, that is this. This great guy uh, that I can't wait to go back and go with him. And this is an exercise to promote and invite new generations of designers to go back to craft, to craft, to try making outside the computers, you know, to rediscover their local, you know, like artisanal heritage, if you like. You know, I think it's really valuable to reconnect with your cultural roots, uh, where we come from, and commun communicate that, right? In a global, in a, in a global world, you you need to do that. Stand, stand up for who you are, where you come from, what are your values, you know, and not pretending being someone else. You know, like I don't want to be a Mexican designer, and my work looks Japanese. <laughs> you know, I think roots are really important, and this is what I'm trying to communicate.